Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do This is my five point breakfast. It's going to be so filling, super nutritious. The hash browns for two full cups, 168 grams, it's three points. And then I have two eggs with, what did I have? A quarter of a cup of the Kraft Fat Free Mozzarella for one point. So this is five points total. This is super filling. And then here I have the plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And then I just mixed it with a little bit of Flavor God buttery cinnamon roll. I, did, I didn't I did do enough to equal a point for the buttery cinnamon roll. And then just to stretch that and make the yogurt a little more flavored, I did some stevia drops to sweeten and some cinnamon. And then I just topped it with blueberries and strawberries. So this is zero points and this is five points. So breakfast is super filling, huge, and five smart points. I'm sorry, five personal points. Do not forget to hydrate. <clears throat> it is so important throughout the day. 
So this right here is 40 ounces. Yeah, 40 ounces. Um, <clears throat> I do put ice in it just because I like it to be extra cold throughout the day. This is insulated and I really like, um, it doesn't really fit in my cup holder in my car. It fits in, so I have cup holders in the door and they like slide into the bottom. You can like squeeze it into a traditional cup holder, but if you take a turn too sharp in the car or something like that, it does definitely, it can tips and I've had that happen before. So awesome for carrying around the house. I bring this to the gym all the time. I like that it has a handle. I absolutely love these cups. I get them at Target and I think I actually got this one specifically off Amazon because I liked the color. It's like rose gold with pink. Super girly, super cute. But I am trying to drink this water. So before I allow myself to have any coffee, I'm going to drink this water and probably just get some housework done. So let's go. Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy
Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy While I'm sitting here just kind of thinking about the day, I my kids have a half day today, um, and then after that they have a voluntary, yeah. hi, they have a voluntary, it's called a PCR clinic basically. They do COVID swabs, um, just as, it's on a volunteer basis. I personally just like to have it for peace of mind. My children are completely masked in school, except for when they can distance three feet from each other. I do think that that will likely change soon, and I think that they're gonna try and return to some sense of normalcy, which is nice. Obviously, I have my reservations about it, and I'm not gonna get into the whole masks and vaccine craziness. The clinic is from three to five at school, so they get out around 12.30, they'll be home, and then I'm gonna take them at three to get their swabs. It's just a quick nasal swab. My older two do it, so I'll bring Liam and Logan to school, we'll get that done, and then I'm actually, uh, my neighbor and I decided that we're gonna have our kids just kind of have a play date at the playground. They're all gonna wear their snow gear, and they're just gonna have a fun little afternoon. And then after that, I have an appointment finally to get a manicure and a pedicure. It's been a long time. These were my New Year's nails. Uh, it's already February, so I got these done in December. They actually held up quite well. I do the dip and I broke this one. This nail always gets broken and so does the thumb. Between Quinn's car seat and just like scrubbing, I'm right-handed, um, scrubbing, doing dishes, cleaning toilets, things like that, just general housework, these nails always get jacked up. But they don't look too bad, so I'm really excited. I don't think I'll film in there because, like I said, I, well, one, I'm gonna have my hands completely occupied, and I don't, I don't know. She might be uncomfortable. I just I don't think I'm gonna film that. But anyways, that's what's on the schedule today. Had a great breakfast, feel nice and fueled up. Let's go. All right, guys, it is two o'clock, and I am dragging ASS right now because I did not have a coffee. Not having that. Alani Munchies Fit Shake is really making me sad. So, I don't know. I don't think I want to do a full coffee. You know what I'm going to do? Instead, I'm going to grab my man drink the dungeon. I need some caffeine. This actually has, I believe, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Contains 200 milligrams of caffeine per 12 ounce serving. One can is 
I'm assuming 12 ounces. Okay, so I'm going to have this Alani new, it's the new Addison Ray. Um, this is the strawberry, berry pop is the name of the flavor. This is really good. Um, the propane guy. The propane guy is here and my dog is losing his mind because he doesn't like anybody in the yard and obviously the man has to access my yard in order to get to the tank. So, just been annoying barking for the last like 10 minutes and my kids are yelling at my dog, my dog is barking, chaos. Anyways, I'm gonna have this and I think I'm gonna have an apple with peanut butter. So this peanut butter hack, I don't know why I hadn't thought to do this. I must have seen it somewhere or I don't know. But I used to just do my PB2 with water and it's peanut butter so it is protein. But I was thinking the other day, I'm like, why don't I put it in Greek yogurt? Because that's even more protein. So, And I also do some stevia drops because I do think by itself the PB2 is a little bit salty so I think with the PB2 the Greek yogurt and the stevia drops it's perfect mm. awesome afternoon snack it's 225 honestly I probably should be making lunch but I'm not super hungry I was just this is enough to hold me over I have to take my boys at three o'clock to get their COVID swabs and then we're supposed to have a play date with our neighbors for a little bit and then maybe I'll have time to come home and eat something fast but otherwise I'm gonna have to eat after my nail appointment my nail appointments not until 610 so might be grabbing a protein bar too <laughs> all right I swear getting when you have a large family, getting everybody all the things they need and out of the house is like an Olympic sport. It stinks in here is what she says. It does stink in here. Hi. <laughs> wow, my neighbor's yard, the snow is actually almost all melting. Everybody is in snow gear and that's what took so long. Snow gear just ugh, sucks. Sucks to put on, sucks to take off. I can't even get over. My, my car, when I got into it, after all the boys had been sitting in it for a minute, smelled like a hockey locker room. Hot tub. Not a hot tub. Kind of smelled like hamburger. I love a smell of hamburger. I love it. It was just, it's, it was not good. It was very stinky. For a moment, I just smelled it. It smelled like a dung beetle. home 
fake. So my nail appointment is at 610, so it's a little less than an hour from now. I am going to toss a pizza in for the kids. Actually, I need to keep it frozen. Woo! All right, guys, that was kind of a blur. I had to do everything so fast when I got home. Made four dinners. I threw in a load of laundry. I had to switch laundry. I had to set out four outfits for tomorrow. And here I am. Um, so I'm having a built bar for three points. I really wish that they would make this flavor permanent. It's the raspberry cheesecake. Um, my one gripe with this is the ginormous chunks of like raspberry seed, which I don't know how they would go about de-seeding the raspberries. It's going to be super dark, so... There's no point in filming because you're not going to be able to see my face. Hey guys, so I just got home from getting my nails done and I'm starving, so... I don't know, I'm like cut off. I'm gonna have sort of like an Asian inspired dinner. These, I'm sorry I don't have the box, but these are from a brand called Min, it's M-I-N-H, and these are egg rolls, they're vegetable egg rolls, and actually I'm sorry, they're chicken egg rolls with vegetables in them, and they're super, super good. Um, so these are four points per egg roll, they're really good size, like here, here's my hand. Like the egg roll's basically the size of my hand. So I'm gonna have two of these for eight points. I'm gonna pop one of these in the microwave for five minutes. I'm going to pop this in the microwave for four minutes. And then I think I'm going to do two scrambled eggs just for some added protein. And then I'm gonna do some Kiko and stir fry sauce just for like that Asian, teriyaki sauce. So I'm essentially making like a little bit of a fried rice with this, this, the egg, and then the stir fry. I'm sorry, the uh, teriyaki sauce. So sorry if this is crooked. But anyways, let's get cooking because I'm starving. All this deliciousness is 10 smart points total. These are four points each, so eight. And then the rice is free for me on my personal points plan, so that's zero. The egg is zero. The broccoli is zero. Actually, if anything, I think I get a point or two back. I'll have to calculate that. And then the Kikum and stir fry sauce, there wasn't, there was just shy, there was four grams shy of two tablespoons. Two tablespoons was 36 grams. I have 32 grams, but I'm still gonna count it as two points. So this, I believe is 10 points. It might actually be eight after getting the, I think two points back for the broccoli. So this is either eight or 10 points. So as I'm sitting here eating this, I just, 
plugged everything into my tracker. The broccoli, ridiculously enough, so the serving size is one and a third cups and there's three and a half servings. So that's four and a half cups of broccoli, which seems ridiculous, but I have no problem eating it all. Um, so that's plus four points back for eating bro. Oh, ton of broccoli. So four, five, six. This is six points total. All right, guys, that is it for me for this video. And I'm finishing the night off. You can see that with a pack of Smart Sweets. These are super good. They remind me of Sour Patch Kids. They don't taste exactly the same, but they're really good. And they're only two Smart Points for the whole bag. And you get a decent amount in there. So if you haven't tried out Smart Sweets, I would highly suggest it. Not sponsored or anything. I just absolutely love them. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.